Hi students, for homework today I want you to review the Midrash that we learned, the Midrash. I'll walk you through again how to get to that Midrash using the links on the blog and review that Midrash. I'd like you to submit the notes that you took earlier and if you haven't taken notes earlier or you're still not sure about it, um, please pay attention and I will review it. All right, so here's what um, you'd see if you go to the blog. I'm going to scroll down. Um, so this is what you'd see if you go to the Humash blog, which you should be at right now. If you scroll down on the right side, you'll see Humash links. So click on that. And in the Humash links, at, um, you'll see there's a there's a link called Da'at. So you click on Da'at. And you've got Da'at open. You want to make sure that you're at Perak Hay. So we got Perak Hay there. And the psukim that we learned were the first four psukim. And on the side, on the right side, if, uh, if you look to the right, scroll down a bit, and um, you'll see there is a link to Midrashim, and the first one there is Midrash Rabbah. So let's see if I can draw a little bit here. This one is Midrash Rabbah. Okay, so Midrash Rabbah. And if you click on that, Midrash Rabbah, you'll get to Midrash Rabbah for the chapter that we're looking at. So, Midrash Rabbah. So it should pull up the Midrash, and this is what it would look like. It would say Bami Bar, Parakeh. And again, you want to scroll down to the section that says Tet. Oh, there it is. Okay, so, so that's the section that we're looking at. So the psukim that this is uh, comment on are the psukim in the very beginning of the parak. It says that Vaya uh, Asukim Bene Israel, the Jewish people, the children of Israel, did. So, and they sent them out of the camp. Just as Hashem had spoken to Moshe, so did the Bnei Yisrael. If you notice, and then again, so this is really what the Midrash is addressing. So going back to the Midrash, so, so the first comment in the Midrash says the words here that are in um, in pink are the quote from the Pasuk. So the first words of the Pasuk that say Israel are telling us praise about Israel that just as Moshe told them to do, that's what they did. And that's why it finishes off that they did exactly as they were told. So it's praise about the Jewish people, and that's why it's being repeated that they did exactly what um, they were supposed to do. However, Rabbi Elazar, Rabbi Shimon, Omer, Rabbi Elazar, the son of Rabbi Shimon, says, "En b'mashma." That's not. Um, that doesn't seem to be what is implied. Um, that this is being said as praise that they did what they, you know, that that's what they did, and can being repeated that they did what they were told to do, but rather, Ella hameshalchim lo hutzruchu, but rather, what does, this, what does this imply? That not that they did as Moshe told them that they have to do, but rather that the mishalchim, the ones who send, the Jewish people sending them out, did not need to be pushed to do it. Um, they didn't need to wait for Moshe to kind of uh, push them along, but rather they, um, easily and eagerly did it. 
lo hutzrechu. And how do we know that also those who were being sent out, so those that were tame that were being sent out, that they also did not need to be pushed out, and they were going to do it alone happily. Talmud lomar, kasher diber Hashem el Moshe, ken asu b'nei Yisrael. That's why we have the second part of the Pasuk that says, just as Hashem told Moshe, so the B'nai Yisrael did, they did this on their own, because the second part, the second part of the Pasuk says, that's what they did, came asu b'nei Yisrael, that they did exactly what Hashem told Moshe. Rather, not what, ha- what Moshe told them to do, but they did exactly what Hashem told Moshe, meaning they didn't even need lo hutzruchu she'ya'asiyum et Moshe et Aaron. They didn't need that Moshe and Aaron should force them to do it, but rather they did it alone. So the first statement is that this is just praise about B'nai Israel. That's why it's being repeated that they did just as they were told. Rabbi Lazar is saying that's, that doesn't just seem like praise that they did exactly as they were told, but much more than that. That Vayasu Kim B'nai Israel, they did what they uh, they did what they needed to do without being told to do it. So the senders, they sent them. So the senders did what they needed to do. And then the second part, is that not only did the senders do it alone, but also those who were being sent did not need to be forced to leave. They did it willingly and they followed the instructions. So please um, complete your notes about this and review it. And um, make sure to submit them um, and upload them. Thank you.